Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do your October love and sex messages. So uh, this is a disclaimer. There's going to be a lot of cussing, cursing, sexual talk. Okay, it's going to be all out there. So you know, you know how I do it when it comes to the sexual reading. So if you guys have an issue with it, you can always look for another video. <laughs> Something less sexual, but it says it all in the title, so I'm just saying. All right. Let's get it popping. What's going on with my uh, Sagittarius and love and sex? Let's start with the Romance Angels. <clears throat> okay. All right. So we have getting to know each other, express your love, past life relationship. Give your relationship a chance, worth waiting for, and codependency. Ooh, Saggies. So some of you will be, you know, getting to know somebody new. Or if it's not somebody new, this is someone you've been dating and you, are, you know, you just keep, you know, hanging around with them, getting to know them, their flaws, their, their likes, their dislikes, um, what they're into, what they're not into, you know, just... As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So that's exactly what I see some of my Sagis doing. <clears throat> and then we have express your love. So once you start getting to know each other, you're going to start expressing how you feel because you start to pick up their, their flaws and everything and you like them and you start to fall in love and blah, blah, blah. So it's kind of like it's telling you go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So once you've already got to know them and everything, it, it's, it's always good to tell them how you feel. If you're being called to do so. If not, then it's okay to wait a little bit. But there's nothing wrong with, you know, telling them how you feel. Whether this is, you know, dancing. Whether this is looking into each other's eyes. You know, the whole thing. Whether this is bonding through sex. Um, it's always amazing bonding through sex, right? But... <laughs> <laughs> um, then we have past life relationship. You have known each other before. So this could be somebody that's coming back from the past. Okay. That could be someone that's coming back from the past that you will be getting to know a little bit and then expressing your love, telling them, oh, I've always loved you. I've always had a crush on you and so on and so forth. And, um, and if this is somebody new coming in, you look at them and it's kind of like you, you have a sense of knowing. Like, damn, I've, I feel like I've known you before. That's why I feel so deeply for you. Hold on, let me fix my camera. That's why I'm attracted to you because I feel like, you know, I've seen you before in my life. In a past life or whatever. So I feel like that's what you will be telling them and expressing that to your friends and your family. Because it's, it's different. So... <clears throat> I think it's it's going to be good for you to do that. Hold on, let me fix my light. I don't know why it's actually stupid. Whatever. You're done. Anyways, uh, we have give your relationship a chance. It says work on your partnership. So some of you are in a relationship. For those who are in a relationship, it's telling you if you've been having, you know, ups and downs and stuff like that. Or maybe you've been separated and you're planning on getting back together, but you guys are taking a break just to see how things go. <clears throat> it's telling you to, to work on it and it'll be worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So maybe you guys separated a bit and then come back together and it'll be worth it. It'll be, you know, it's time for you guys to get together. So... <clears throat> Always go with the flow of things. If you wonder why, oh, if they love me and care about me, why are we separated? All that bullshit starts to come up. But you got to remember that um, certain phases and stuff like that happen so that we grow. We, we become closer and, you know, we start to pick up certain things about each other where we're like, okay, this is just a phase. All right. He just wants a space. She just wants to her space and so on and so forth. Then we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So some of you are codependent on the other person. This could mean that you feel like your life is not going to be happy or go anywhere without them and vice versa. This could be like um, you're depending on them to be happy or depending on them uh, and their deci decisions and choices in order for you to better yourself and, and move up. No, don't do that. It's always good to always 
no matter what, if you're together or not, to to work on yourself, help yourself grow. You know, build an empire together, lift each other up. Don't don't make this like a a thing where you are like I'm better than you or I'm the breadwinner, so everything I say goes. No, that shit never works. Like you gotta build an empire together, work on it. It'll be worth it, and you just go from there. Okay, so let's pull some more cards from the fortune reading cards. Let's see here. My Sagittarius. If you guys hear like little banging noises in the background, it's because we are going through a big storm right now in California. <clears throat> well, here where I live. And it's so windy and everything. Ah! It's so cute. I had one card fill, obviously, and I'm going to take it. <clears throat> I had my nephew call me, Titinis, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, why? He's like, oh, because it's so windy and everything. And I'm like, oh, he's so cute. <laughs> All right, let's see. <clears throat> All right. So we have mountain. It says, know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. Okay, so some of you will be going through some challenges just to get to your person, just to stay together, just to find that person or those struggles that you go through, get you on that path to meet that to meet that one. So always remember that everything doesn't happen just because it fucking happens to you. It happens for you so that you can get on the right path so you can meet certain people so you can go through these experiences and and enjoy it <clears throat> and then we have dragonfly have confidence uh during this time of great joy renewal and connection to spirit Ooh. so even if we go through hard times it's only to get us closer to spirit it's only to get us closer to to renew our 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 emotions to cleanse ourselves with our tears because our tears are our own personal holy water so when you do that you release that and you cleanse your 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 body your temple your soul we have to go through those things in order for us to get renewal so this is pretty much telling you that <clears throat> be really confident when it comes to stuff like this whether you're going through it with your 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 baby mama your baby daddy or your significant other okay it's only to to purify and cleanse you guys' relationship so that you can have a clean slate. All right, then we have fire. Let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. You see? Let it burn, baby. This is you, Saggy. Okay, this is renewal. Renewal of the spirit, renewal of the relationship. Okay, you are cleansing each other. You're cleansing yourself. Let go of emotional upheaval. Let it go. Let it out. It's always good to embrace those tears. Okay, and enjoy the present moment. Always do that. Don't don't always look back or depend on how things were in the past because you'll get stuck like that and it blocks you from moving forward. So then we have death. It says a time of natural transition and transformation. You see? You guys are going through a transformation. I told you. It's to get you closer to spirit so that you guys can reach that level in your relationship, whether it's marriage, having kids, the next step gets you closer to God and goddess, the universe, and it's only to renew yourselves. You know what I mean? So embrace it. You see how there's butterflies all around the girl? Yeah. Transformation, boo. Then we have lion. Harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. Go ahead with, with force, power. Take everything that you've learned and gone through. And that becomes your strength, okay? Nobody's going to want to fuck with you. No one's going to want to do this and that or get in your relationship because of everything you went through. You transformed. You, you worked it out. You went through it. You learned your lessons through past relationships. So when the, the, the right one comes, you're prepared and so on and so forth. So everything is just to prepare you for the right moment. As I say that, it's the worth waiting for card. You see that? 
the right one is always worth waiting for. Let me put these like this. So <clears throat> probably should have done that in the beginning, but whatever. <laughs> All right. So the other one we have is flowers. It says, be generous, success, and emotional fulfillment are yours. Yes, it's yours for the taking. So let's say you get a, an abundance of, of love coming your way, okay? Abundance of love. And because it's by the codependency, don't depend on the other person to just give you all the love. You gotta, you have to give that. it's the equal give and take. Can give that balance. It's always good to be balanced. So let's pull a few cards from the Whispers of Love. Yeah, we're still on the love aspect. We haven't hit the sexual yet. Those cards are coming. Okay. <laughs> it's coming. If you know what I mean. All right. So we have ask for help. What is it you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself the support you need. Do you need help in your relationship? Do you need help with um, getting people out of your relationship? Do you need help to, you know, advice from your parents or advice from your friends and your family about this relationship? Or about how you've been and, and why certain things were happening to you in past relationships? Like, ask yourself that and allow yourself to get that help. Then we have physical touch is important. For some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it. We all crave that touch, right? A lot of you have been craving a touch from a woman or a man. You've been craving that waking up in the morning, cooking together or finding them, you know, watching their game and cooking their meal and and going out places, going shopping together and doing the damn thing. Like you guys are, a lot of you guys are missing that touch. And who doesn't? So massage each other a little more. Like rub their back a little bit, you know. Rub their booty from now on. <laughs> or their leg, you know. Flirt a little bit. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It says practice compassion. See things from a different perspective. So if you guys are grouchy or you're in a relationship with someone who's really grouchy, okay, practice compassion. Practice being kind to one another, whether they're having a bad day and all of a sudden you're like pissed off because they're pissed off. The codependency, you know, being pissed off when they're pissed off or whatever, like be the one that's showing compassion, the one that's understanding and it transforms it. It like make things a lot more better and it just... It's just uh, uh, showing a random act of kindness is what I'm saying. Um, let me get a sip. Still, still drinking my morning coffee. All right. It says be willing to express love. That's so funny because it fell right on top of this one. Express your love. <laughs> That's twice already. Okay. It, it went right on top of that card. It says, when we express love, we begin to receive more love. Mm -hmm. The equal give and take. When you give, you receive. Perfect. Perfecto, perfecto. All right, let's get moving with the sex. Sagittarius and sex. What's going on with my Sagis and sex? Okay, because this Two of Cups reverse fell on top of Ask for Help, <clears throat> some of you are going through it and you're sexual. Maybe you feel like, oh my God, am I not good enough in bed? Um, what's going on? Maybe you need to ask a doctor if you're having a malfunction or if you feel like you're not able to get wet anymore, you're not able to get up or you're having a hard time with erection. It could be anything like That's why I'm saying Ask for Help especially with the two of cups reverse in the sexual deck that means that something's not going right and you feel insecure and you feel like oh my god is there something wrong with me <laughs> you know what i mean so then we have this seven of wands reversed this is like getting out there 
this is no longer having to fend your ways or how you are. If you like sex, you like sex. So you're making it known. And this is like foreplay. This is like, you see how in the upright he's like covering her mouth. Don't say shit. Let's keep it on the low type of thing. Or I would have to, you know, talk about why I'm doing this and that. No, some of you are letting that letting that go. You're just like, you know what? This is my life. I like what I like. I like who I like. And I'll fuck who I want. So this is basically pretty much what that's talking about. Ooh, we have the wheel. The tables are turning. Okay, what goes around comes around. So let's say, um, oh yeah, this is a lot of oral sex too. So I feel like if you've been giving orally to your partner, he's going to come around and give it to you too. Flipping each other inside out. So some of you guys are like, um, <laughs> flipping each other inside out. What am I talking about? <laughs> Sorry, I just say shit without even thinking. <laughs> some of you guys are into, uh, foreplay and are into like having people watch you or you like watching other people have sex or porn while you're doing it and there's nothing wrong with that so if let's say you've been you know stagnant not being able to have sex for a while you haven't had sex in a while the time has come the time has come c-u-m come for you to get it on you're going to have a lot more sex. You're going to, because it's finally here and you finally get to have sex with someone or that person that you've been wanting, it's going to be like a lot. <laughs> the wheels are turning, baby. Like it's going to be a lot of sex and it's going to be kinky and nasty and filthy and you're going to fucking love it because you're a fire sign and you bring heat to everything and everyone you do. Everything and everyone you do. Shit, these keep falling. Okay, dang. This wanted to come out. This is um, the Amper. Ooh. Look at that. Some of you are in a relationship with, with someone who, who knows how to keep their dick in their pants. Who knows how to stay, you know, to themselves. Who knows how to, you know, take care of business and their family and their sex life. Equally balanced. And you love that about them. This is someone who has a big you-know-what a big dang -a -lang. <laughs> and you love it okay you fucking love it you have yourself wrapped around that dang -a -lang real good <laughs> my goodness all right moving on up we have the chariot this is moving forward in a relationship okay look at how he's lifting her skirt looking at her poo nanny this is like moving forward in a relationship, even after you had sex with them. Let's say you had a one night stand and you're like, okay, let's just keep it moving. Um, whatever it is, what it is. That's all I want you for. And you're okay with that. Some of you are just moving forward in your relationship and or, or with someone that you've met and you are going to take it from there. And there's going to be a lot of hot sex coming. Uh, some of you with the ones that are having a hard time malfunction sexually. It's kind of like you wake up and you're like, okay, let's let's just keep it moving. Okay, let's let's move on. <laughs> we have the five of cups reversed. Some of you guys are getting out of a boring relationship where you feel like, oh my god, this person is boring in bed. I'm not getting any fucking pleasure. They don't like to do oral. They don't like to do this. Ugh, they're so boring. I'm I'm ready to go out there and find me something more hot and steamy. Okay, so if you've been, if you yourself have been feeling like that, like, oh my God, I need more spice in my life. That is, the time has come for you to spice things up. And that's exactly what you're going to be doing. You're going to be dressing up. You're going to be feeling good, looking good, putting on your, your cologne, your your best tea, whatever it is to feel good and look good working out. Like, you don't want to be boring, especially my Sagittarius. You know, when you find a target with your bow and arrow, you, you get what you want, okay? So, oh, this was this way, sorry. We have the Six of Air, which is the Six of Swords, okay? This is like moving, moving forward. Okay, this is like going places mentally. You know how to come up with like fantasy like 
images in your mind while you're having sex with somebody and that's what keeps it going that's what keeps you going and there's nothing wrong with that i mean whatever floats your boat right so i feel like some of you have been imagining whether this is self-pleasure you've been imagining you know a certain person or someone in porn whatever it is like and it keeps you it keeps you going it keeps it keeps it coming how about that <laughs> All right, we have the seven of earth reversed, seven of pentacles reversed. <clears throat> Let me see how it looks like in the upright. So some of you have been thinking about how your relationship has been or how past lovers have been. This could be you, like if you haven't had sex in a while or been with someone in a while, like looking back at how things were sexually and that could be you self-pleasuring using toys and stuff like that and some of you are like oh well i don't really need a person because i do it myself or some of you are okay doing that damn my cards keep falling sorry what is this this is <laughs> this is the tower okay so this is a, an epiphany an awakening a shock a wow okay the tower and sexual cards to me it's like when someone finally in like, what are the odds that I put it in? And you're like, holy fuck, they're big. Or, oh my God, she's tight. Like, it's a shock. This is like a whoa moment. <laughs> That's a whoa moment. Especially in the sexual deck. The tower is like, wow. When it's reversed, it's like someone's small. And you're like, okay. And you're just like, let's keep it moving. Or they're not able to get it up or get it wet. Or there's something going wrong, wrong right? So, <clears throat> yeah, someone is definitely shocked that someone is really, really big, really good in bed, okay? The epiphany could be you like, oh my God, I haven't slept with anybody in a while. I think I'm growing bats down there, or, or maybe it doesn't take much for me to, you know, get it, get it going because it's just so delicate and sensitive. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm, t if I'm saying too much. I'm just, it is what it is. All right, five of earth reversed. You see, this is speaking about not having it for a while, being left out in the cold before. Because it's reversed, some of you are ready to go out there and start dating, start looking for that sexual intimacy. That could be you going out there, being promiscuous, whatever it is that you like. This is you getting what you want, not being the one that's getting left out. You're like, fuck that. I'm not going to be waiting around for anybody. I'm going to date. I'm going to do my damn thing. And that's that. My Sagis don't wait for no one. <clears throat> wow. Ten of water, which is the Ten of Cups. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys are really happy in your, in your sex life. Your sex life is amazing. You are swimming in the sweats of passion and love. It's like that's what you want and that's what you're going to get. Especially if you're dealing with an emperor with the mm-hmm-hmm, the big dang -a -lang, You're emotionally satisfied. <laughs> all you need <laughs> you know what i mean so it's like some of you guys have a, a really good sex life a happy love and sex life and there's nothing wrong with that okay ain't nothing wrong with that the eight of cups reversed eight of water reversed so some of you guys are not able to walk away from a, a relationship you can't let go you can't walk away because it's hard the sex is fucking good the passion is good it's kind of like it's difficult to walk away from a, someone like that the intimacy is good they know how to give you know how to give it's just like bam it's fire it's hot fire so when you look at it and you're like why do i why do i ever want to leave this you know i, I want to keep doing that this is you someone having a hard time walking away from someone sexually because it's that fucking good <laughs> let's get a few more here <clears throat> seven of fire this is the seven of wands Okay, this is someone being, this is someone out there being promiscuous. This is someone 
who you don't care what people think or say about you people see you as someone who can get a lot of people you're very good looking you're out there dating you're getting it on this is this is you being you know into group sexual things you know and you you don't have to you find yourself having to defend what you like and you like what you like you're out there you're not trying to hide anything like look at how she's just sitting on his face like shut up just shut up you see that oh yeah oh yeah you like what you like and that's that <clears throat> I am seeing that you're known as a freak. A freak in the sheets. Oh, okay. The last card I'm pulling here is the sun card. Yeah, you're flying away to happiness. <laughs> this is the final erection. The final bam. Okay, once you hit that euphoria, euphoria you are flying on cloud nine. Okay, some of you, your sex life is like off the chain where you just feel bliss. Flying off into never, never land. And it's just like, yeah, the tables are turning. You guys are going, it's time for you to have that good, good. You got that good, good. You got the good, good. If you haven't heard that song from Ashanti, good, good. Listen to it. You got the good, good. So yeah, the sun card, the last card that I'm going to pull for you, uh, Sagittarius. You guys are going to be feeling eternally in bliss. Like, feeling good sexually, sexual fulfillment. Because, you know, you're waking up to the fact that you're not, some of you are not getting any younger. And if you've been stagnant in that, and you're just like, I want to have fun. I want to get freaky. I want to get jiggy with it. I want to play with somebody's ass. I want to play with our balls or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. You know how I do. I'm just... You know what? Cheers. Cheers to good sex, okay? Cheers to good sex, good love, happiness, good oral, give and receive. Don't be afraid to be freaky. Okay, no Mary Poppins shit unless you're foreplaying. But I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, guys. So this was your October loving sex messages. So give it a thumbs up. Please like, share, 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 and subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.